In Excel 2003, if you add more than one data field to a pivot table, they'll be arranged vertically. Here we've got units in the pivot table. I'm going to also add total. The field list is showing, and I'll just drag total into the data field area. When I drop it, here are the data fields stacked one on top of the other, so we've got two rows for each item now. To change that, drag the data button into the column heading area. So we're dropping it onto the word total. And now we have one row per item showing units and total horizontally. You can move them back just by dragging that data field into the row label area. Here I moved it to the left of the items. We can see the units and all the items, then total and all the items. If I move it slightly to the right, you can see that shaded line. Now we have the items and the units in total per item. If you want to remove a data field from the pivot table layout, clicking the drop down arrow for data, I'll remove the check mark for total. And when I click OK, it's out of the layout. And to put it back, you would have to drag it back in to the pivot table layout. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.